Kim not, uh, you might have not talking about the Tyson Fury fight at all. You asked him like five different times. Write it off. Yeah. Write it off. 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 Then you move forward. And that's why I say I, I know I'll face the best bad in because, you know, I, I was at a speech once at a charity and, um, is it, who's a racing driver? Nicky that, that lost his ear. You know the racing Don't know driver? Racing. All right, Sorry. Cool. Huh? How do you plan to beat him? I know, and he just said that he dedicated his speech to the losers. Not the, not the people that got up and got their medals, because a lot of people that have gone through stuff in life are normally the ones that come out stronger. So a loss, will, if you use it the right way, will make you a better person. So that's why I know when, when I beat him, there'll be no excuses. I'll face the best blood in me, and it's no problem. Anthony, why do you say you're going to face the best out of versus Because of being that he's, been, he's been out for a year, or more than a year, and he's coming off a loss of Tyson Fury. If you're asking, because I can only answer from my perspective, if I took a loss and had a year off, number one, you get to look within yourself. And in that year, you even say to yourself, you know what, I've had a year off, I can't be bothered with this. Or you say, I've had a year off, and when I get back, I'm going to make the world know that that was just a complete fluke. And this is what I'm going to get right. So if that was me and I took a loss, that's how I'd approach it. And um, I'm just speaking from how I would be in that position. That's why I think that he's got that fire back which is good because it should be a good fight. Joshua 18 fights world title yeah yeah give me your reaction when you heard the name Vladimir Klitschko on a contract let's go let's go it's a fight three years ago I said I'll fight Klitschko or Fury three years ago so now we're here it's just something that I already saw so I was like okay cool and, and one thing I always know with my coach because when I started boxing I was rushed like it was three years since I had my first fight to Olympics, then to the, then three years since like pro to champion. So he always like guided me in a sense of you know what son, that's not a good fight for you right now. You need as many learning fights as possible. So when he's like, let's rock and roll, I said cool. You know your Cody when they say let's do it, and you look at him and he's like, like you're older and you say cool. That's that's how I see my coach. Yeah, he knows me. Do you think do you think Vladimir still still views you as that sparring partner? Just the way that he talks to you and the way that he kind of even yeah yeah yeah. You have to listen. You have to listen to what someone says and yeah, I'm not gonna be like no, but yeah, he does. But that's no problem. That's no problem. It's good. It's good. It's how he feels. So yeah. Does that bother you at all? The fact that he kind of no no no. Me, my question to you is, um, you've been catapulted overnight into this you know, mainstream guy in the division. Elaborate a little bit. When you say that mentally, you got to be prepared. A lot of guys were pulled under pressure. I was in some of the Tyson series. What, how is it different? Do you see it any differently now? Is every four eyes around you? You're the guy that's supposed to carry the division into the future? Yeah, well, it's good. No, no, it's good. I like the way you're saying it as well, the division. It's not just about me. I think maybe the reason why they can really use me and push me because I say, let's bring boxing up as a whole because everyone eats. You get more interviews, I get more publicity, then I bring boxing, you meet more fighters. So it's good for boxing at home. So maybe that's why they can use me. It's no problem. I wouldn't have this pressure if I couldn't deal with it. My question is, every, there's a heavyweight champion when one guy seems to carry boxing. Yeah, yeah. Now, everyone has their own personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you just slide this over for a second? I haven't found him. Okay. You think you're going to be fine? Well, that way towards him? Grassroots is 99.9% of the people. The elite class is probably 1%. Yeah, we're talking 90,000. Yeah, you're talking. I could be here talking about money and I'm, I'm this and I'm that, but. I'm about working my roots. There's a lot more people that need me to the people that I want to be around that don't really, really need me because every they're like if it comes to a time when you become so successful you don't want to be around people, stay away. I don't want to talk to no one, but I'm not like that. I'd rather just be like that's what I want to leave with my legacy. I'll walk down, you know, the ghetto or something.